Ghanaian consultant. Consultant. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, me as a Ghanaian, born in Ghana, but living here, this is what I'm assuming to see. Is it relevant? How can uh, these are the thoughts? Just like upcoming thoughts. So I'm like, uh, will this play be relevant? Mm. Uh, what will a Ghanaian in Ghana learn from this play? And what will a Ghanaian born in America learn from the play? And then uh, will the play uh, address some of the challenges? And then regardless, I don't know the topic. <laughs> so these are some of the top, uh, topic I shared with uh, <laughs> When I got the, the whole uh, portfolio and then went through it, I'm like, wow, this is cool. That's mm. what I said first, because um, uh, it's just like the realities uh, of life at the boarding school. Because I went to boarding school in, uh, at Opokowari School in Ashanti region in Kumasi. So that's where uh, the, uh, the language they are using at the street. And then at school, like uh, I remember uh, around 1992, 93, when I wrote my uncle in South Africa. Uh, but then he was a, a teacher there, professor there. So I wrote him to send me some calculator and block point uh, Walkman. And when these two items arrived, whoa, everybody have to be. So I'm kind of like a Paulina. And then also like sometimes I'm like, whoa, I have the opportunity to have an uncle in South Africa. I'm privileged to have that opportunity and then to have this. And then there are some of my mates who doesn't have this. Mm. So how can I share my privilege? Mm. For every Ghanaian, I'll say when you have the opportunity to travel, it's like a backpack behind us. Mm. You try to bring something back home. Even you try to do help a little, try to set up something. And that is, I, I found that in the play as well. When you try to come up with like a beauty pageant and try to develop the school, maybe when they won the prize and things like that. And then these are some of the good ways like we can try to bring back and then develop our motherland. Mm -hmm. Rehearsal, I added a little just uh, just cares in our talking when sisters are talking like kiss your teeth, slap your head, mm. roll your eye, and mm. stuff like that. And mm. some of the commonalities, like in communication, and when someone I can be supporting you, right? But the moment you turn your back, you turn your face, <laughs> everybody, oh, hi, right? Sure. You, you know, yeah, so yeah. this is also when I introduce. Uh, uh, sisters to that, they, they were so happy and then they added it right away. Paulina's uh, reaction towards Ama, and one of my favorite is Ama. Mm. I like the way she plays her role. Mm. The way she plays her role, like, they will be saying mean things about her, or Paulina will be saying mean, like, and then the other will be like, no, you can't say that. And then she will just be like, mm. that, yeah. Looks like that is it. Oh, I. I've seen her in the play like being picked on all the time. Mm. But when Amma said, no, you can't pick on me today, she's up strong. Mm. And then that's another sign of speaking up, standing up. Uh, pay attention to uh, social stratification. Mm. Uh, who uh, the family that these children, school children, comes from? Who have this? Who has this? Who has no? And then the way they communicate, and this is a huge lesson to learn. And what can you do if you are privileged to help? So I, I've seen um, this play like uh, also um, talking about the, some of the challenges our uh, ch uh, children so or when they are boarding school, some of the peer pressures and side talks that affect them. So I, this is real to me and uh, I can make a connection to it. Like I, I said earlier on, like for most Ghanaians, uh, when we travel, 
it's like a backpack. We want to bring something back home. When I got a scholarship in 207 to attend Casanova College, it was uh, on my mind that to, I have to build my own non-for-profit organization to promote uh, sustainable agriculture, environmental justice, and then rural education. So throughout, after completing my education, I moved to Ithaca. Through that, I've been playing music, uh, creating awareness about the project, uh, raising funds, and working at different organic funds just to continue the learning of uh, organic agriculture and then alternative agriculture. So back home, now I have 15 acres of land. We are building guest houses. And then uh, Ndor, I have a, my non for profit called Ndo Eco Village. And then uh, we're working with Tonglu community. Every Sunday after church, the children learn about bird, bird science and in our local dialect. So uh, making it that language should not be a barrier of uh, communicating and then interacting with your na uh, mother nature because that is one of uh, our strong solution right now in Africa understanding our environment and working with our environment, not being naive to work against Mother Nature. Where can our audiences find out more about? Uh, you can type in uh, ndoecovillage.org. It's uh, all the information right there. Oh,